How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be doing my predictions for the upcoming episode of Riverdale Season 2, which is for Chapter 15, or should I say Episode 2, Nighthawks. Now, I got a prediction off the title here real quick. Nighthawks, what happened to Miss Grundy at the end of the premiere? Well, someone came at nighttime and choked her out, basically, with some sort of I don't know if it was a crowbar or baton or whatever. Something to choke her out with. And it was at nighttime. And Nighthawks could be relating to the like some sort of group or gang that have these masks. And maybe it's a different person each time that have a list um, that make... Uh, or that have a list of people that they want to kill, basically. Or take out of Riverdale, so to speak. Or it could be relating to... It has double meaning. Meaning. Meanings. Sorry. Or it could be relating to Archie um, and maybe the whole gang there. Um, basically, shut up, door. Um, basically watching over Fred and kind of figuring out if any uh, more people try to hurt them in any way. Because as we saw at the end of the episode, Archie there with his bat standing in front of the doorway. Or sitting in front of the doorway, I should say. Um, but yeah, that, that could be relating to Nighthawk. Shut up! Oh my god. Um, so it could be relating to that because they're just kind of sitting there and uh, watching as the Nighthawks. Actually, that makes more sense because Nighthawks hawks have good eyesight and they're like watching. So that makes more sense, actually. Anyway, uh, it seems as Jughead's dad is getting um, sentenced 20 years in prison. I don't know how that's going to go down. That stuff ain't important. We're more important about who shot Fred What's going on in Riverdale? Although it is still important to Jughead as a character. It's, you know, his dad. He loves his dad. Uh, you know, he does want to see him spend pretty much pretty much the rest of his life um, in prison. Because, I mean, let's say he's 40 years old. Once you're 60 years old, you're pretty much dead already. I mean, kind of. I mean, let's think about it here. But yeah, I mean, it should, it should be interesting. Uh, personally, I think... That Hiram was involved in this somehow, and he is going to be, quote-unquote, the big bad of the season. Like, he's going to stir the pot a lot with Archie, with everyone. He seems just so dang villainous. And he's just, ooh, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. But I think he's going to stir the pot a bit, and he's going to be a pretty big part of the season. Um, and possibly in the next episode. Also, you saw that clip earlier with the Pussycats, and I think even Cheryl was on there on, tops of Pop, of, on top of Pop's roof, Pop's don, diner. So I was thinking, you know, since Fred was having those dreams in the premiere, which I forgot to mention in my review, could that be related to this and somehow? Could Fred continue to have dreams? Um, it's interesting. Maybe he'll find out miraculously, miraculously in his dream that who it was who shot him or something. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Please let me know who you think down below shot um, Fred, because I want to read you guys' theories. Uh, but yeah, those are my predictions for the next episode, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Like this video if you did, subscribe for new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.